We're talking about capital, working capital. And I've said already earlier that low interest rates make dreams come true. I'm going to read it again. Low interest rates make dreams come true. I've also said, in my opinion, that interest rates are not going to stay low for much longer. Uh, and interest rates, higher interest rates, make your, um, affect your rates of return and make less investment vehicles viable. Um, so now is the time to do deals. Uh, how much longer are interest rates going to stay low? I don't know. Uh, will they stay low another six months, another 36 months? I don't know. But they've already stayed lo low longer than I thought they were going to stay. Uh, and uh, now is the time to get out there and do deals. Uh, and especially at the end of the year, which I've already mentioned, that, uh, you know, 75% of uh, funding is done in the, in the last uh, two, three months of the year because it's, they're on a fiscal year basis, which means they end uh, in de on December 31st. You must spend as a entrepreneur, founder, CEO, managing director, whatever you want to call yourself, you must spend 95% of your time in the pursuit of money and deals. 95% of your time in the pursuit of money and deals. That means what you're currently doing, which is spending time in your business instead of on your business. You're putting out fires. You know, you're, uh, you're, you're doing the, the stuff that really have no consequence. You're not doing stuff that is going to bring top line revenue um, to um, your business. And why do you do that? Because that's how you've been trained and you haven't been trained that, um, you know, the, the founder, the CEO, etc. should be spending most of his, their time on um, growing the business. And, and getting money out of financial institutions is beyond luck, it's beyond persevering. I mean, uh, the, the people that want it the most and, sh and, and stay doing it the longest are the most successful. This is a little uh, uh, story about the most persevering guy that, uh, that I know of. And it's pretty straightforward. Failed in business, age 22. Ran for legislature, defeated, age 23. Again, failed in business, age 24. Elected to the legislature, age 25. Sweetheart died, age 26. Had nervous breakdown, age 27. This sounds like Miles' life story to, going forward. Um, defeated for speaker, age 29. Defeated for elector, age 31. Defeated for Congress, age 34. Elected to Congress, age 37. Defeated for Congress, age 39. Defeated for Senate, age 46. Defeated for Vice President, age 47. Defeated for Senate, age 49. Elected President of the United States, 51. Now, for those of you in the United States, y'all know it's Abe Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln. Thanks, Sam. Huh? Thanks. Yes. Well, you're president, well, so, you know. <laughs> but I'm talking about the nervous breakdown you're about to have next month. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is the kind of perseverance. And the people that are in the Hall of Fame, many of them have showed that. I have similar... I didn't run for office, although I was asked to run for governor twice, once in California and once for Texas, uh, but I uh, intelligently decided against it. But the um, perseverance is, separates the men from the boys, the gals uh, from the girls. And the people that are the most successful on the, on the Hall of Fame are the people that uh, were the most persevering. It, it, it's simple. It doesn't take rocket scientists. But again, I say, if you're smart and you follow these precepts, you're better off. But even if you're not smart, you can get the job done uh, and you can fulfill your dreams. Uh, and, um, now I'm not, and you know, I'm not saying that you should have a castle for your dream. I, I don't really care what your dream is. But like my, that was one of my dreams and here we are. That's why the seminar is a perfect metaphor for yesterday's dreams or, or tomorrow's realities. But the bottom line is, to me, uh, in the fifth day with one day uh, left, is that it is possible. Whether it's Doc or Brian uh, or Brian Rose, the other Brian, uh, or whoever is in this in this seminar, uh, you can you can do it. Um, now, had to fire this is perseverance. Had to fire his staff. Ditched his private jet. Was written up as dead. John McCain, he didn't become president, but he never gave up. Of course, he was seven and a half years in a prisoner of war camp in Vietnam. 
So he learned a lot of the things I'm teaching you. He learned. I learned by not going to a prison camp, but he learned. And, uh, you know, you, you learn by uh, tough uh, examples and tough cases. Um, the, uh, we didn't go through our, I didn't forget our goals and our aspirations, but we got busy doing something else. And I don't want to do our goals and aspirations on television or on YouTube. So <clears throat> we'll do it the first thing in the morning after she films. Uh, but um, are there any questions or anything that I've covered heretofore? Come on, Fidel. I mean, you got to say something. <clears throat> there he is. Sensitivity equals poverty. Uh, on that happy note, <clears throat> we'll end YouTube.